let's be honest, who, who makes it to the Olympics? I know. Right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, to be at the Olympics, uh, which is, you know, in your case, in the sports, right, it's, it's extremely tough, you know, to get to the Olympics. And those who, who love gymnastics can, can go and compete at the NCAA level is probably... I don't know, maybe maybe I'm wrong, but probably one of the best options as well. Yeah, what do you think? I mean, I don't know at the international level is there only competitions, but I'm totally sure they are, but uh, you know. Yeah, I think most of the best gymnastics clubs in our country mm -hmm. kind of have two paths. Mm -hmm. Like the kids that are really looking at going possibly to the Olympics and go to world championships and all that, they're trying to get to the elite level and they're doing a lot of things different. Mm -hmm. Some of those kids, though, during the high school years will drop back to level 10 and say, mm -hmm. I'm going to focus on college. I'm going to get ready for college. Do you mm -hmm. see what I mean? And then there's a whole path of kids going up the levels that when they get level 10 and stay level 10 for a few years, so those are like good college gymnasts. Mm -hmm. So, but they're mm -hmm. kind of two separate paths. Don't miss the opportunity to catch up with this full episode on the iSports Security Podcast. It could be either on iTunes, Spotify, any platform you listen to. And do not forget to download the app, iSports Security app. This is everything that you need as a student athlete in order for you to get the best out of college recruiting. Download it right now.